Hi again, hope everyone's doing okay and that you managed to check out our last video which was all about releasing tension in the neck area. This week we'll be looking at the shoulders which are a big problem area for people when they're working at a desk. So we'll be showing you some really easy techniques for self-massage and stretches. To begin, loosen up the area by breathing in through your nose and bringing your shoulders up to your ears. Then drop the shoulders and breathe out through the mouth with a strong exhalation. Repeat this two or three times and then roll the shoulders forwards and backwards to loosen up the area. Lucinda will now demonstrate the cross body shoulder stretch which helps to extend the back of the shoulder. Stretch the right arm straight out and bring the arm across the body. Bend the left arm at the elbow and hook the left arm under the right arm, supporting the right arm above the elbow. Use the strength of the left arm to pull the right arm across the body so you can feel a stretch in the back of the shoulder. Hold this for about 20 seconds and then repeat on the other side. She'll now demonstrate three types of shoulder extension stretches. While standing, stretch out your shoulders behind you and clasp your hands together, gently lifting your arms up. Be mindful to try and draw the shoulder blades down your back while lifting the arms. You should feel a stretch in the chest area and a release of tension in the shoulders. Now hold your arms above your head and link your hands with the palms facing upwards. Lift the arms as high as possible, drawing your shoulders down your back until you feel a stretch in your shoulders. Finally, with your hands still linked together, push the arms straight out in front of you with the palms facing outwards and at the same time gently roll the head and neck forward, pushing through with the arms to increase the stretch. It can help to imagine you're trying to pull the shoulder blades away from each other to increase that stretch a bit more. For all three of these stretches, you can hold them for about 20 seconds and repeat two or three times. For self-massage of the shoulders, start by slowly grabbing and then releasing the tissue of the upper traps, starting at the base of the neck and working all the way down and over the top of the arm. Make sure the arm that's not massaging is loosely hanging by the side of the body without tension. Now as Lucinda's showing, make a pincer shape with your thumb and fingers to pinch the upper traps with an upward motion. Rotate your head to the opposite side to create counter stretch and then work from the base of the neck all the way over the top of the shoulder. But be mindful to just pinch the upper shoulder muscle fibres and avoid the delicate muscles at the front of the neck. You can do this two or three times. Now take your forefinger and middle finger and massage in small circles across the top of the shoulders. You can apply quite a bit of pressure and it's a really nice way to disperse tension that's deep within the muscles. Now as Lucinda will show, with your fingers separated and your head slightly tilted forward, rake your hands across the upper shoulders all the way from the back to the front. And this is a really nice way to help completely release the muscle fibres. Now to work the pecs, which do contribute to the shoulder rolling forward when it's tight. You want to use a gliding motion with your four fingers upwards from the sternum on a diagonal towards the armpit. Do this quite firmly and slowly, breathing deeply in and out to help release stress and tension within the muscle. The pectoral area can feel a little bit sensitive and tender but that's often because of tightness. So you want to loosen this up to help the shoulder to drop backwards. Thanks for watching everyone. We really hope this will help to reduce some of the shoulder tension you might experience when working from home. 
Our next video will be focusing on stretches and self-massage techniques for the hands and the arms. As always, if you have any questions, drop us an email on pummelandneed at gmail.com or do feel free to reach out to us across any of our social media platforms. Have a great week.